Yo, 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 what's going on? Back into the mix. Um, I really wanted to throw this info out there real quick before I get into this video. Um, it's the manifest. This is something that you're going to see every day. Uh, you know, once you start at the beginning of the shift, this is the most important piece of paper you're going to need. And it basically consists of, you know, your stops, you know what I'm saying? Um, the cache load, um, you know, it's going to have your truck number when you go out into the lot to, you know, try to find your truck. And it should have the trailer number on here. But as I tell you guys, uh, this is my Friday night going into Saturday. And, uh, you know, for some reason, when it comes to the weekend, you know, they kind of dropped the ball. So, you know, a lot of stuff wasn't ready. But, you know, it's just a part of the game. It ain't gonna stop me from, you know what I'm saying, making this day happen and getting it done with. So anyways, yeah, so there's a lot of important uh, information on this manifest that you'll receive at the beginning of your shift. Uh, for instance, my first stop is a Red Robins, uh, and then it consists of 227 cases, and it lets you know your arrival time and departure time. So um, that'll be, the same information on every stop you know what i'm saying so yeah this is something you'll uh very you know easy to read but something you'll become familiar with uh doing at the beginning of the shift so stay tuned um I'm about to put this work in and get it done holla all right what's up guys uh just finished stop two uh stop one had about 227 pieces knocked that out pretty cool uh stop two had about I would say 110 pieces, but um, stop one basically helped me freed up the whole right side of the trailer, which is great because I have room to maneuver and to stack things accordingly. And uh, when you have, you know, space to move around, it really helps your day go by cool. And, uh, you know, when you are breaking through these pallets, you want to make sure you're staging these stops accordingly uh because it's just so much helpful to have an organized truck so as you see um i got space to pull this down with the jack if need to be and i got room to you know will these stacks off so uh that's always a plus having an organized truck um i'm saying from the back to the front uh i got some of my freezer broken down ready to go so, uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to eliminate, you know what I'm saying, frustration while doing this job uh, because that's going to be your number one issue is uh, going through this stack, trying to find out where that last box is. But if you find yourself just breaking stuff down and stacking accordingly to the stops, it would be so much more easier. So, yeah, uh, just throwing tips out there for you guys who's getting into the industry and uh, what to expect and how to avoid things so you can become, you know what I'm saying, the best. And you know what I'm saying, not as frustrated. So yeah, the day is gonna continue. So just stay tuned to the grind. All right, check this out. Um, I'm in the freezer right now. Uh, I'm at my stop three. Um, in this case, uh, this whole pallet is a freezer for stop three. So I'm gonna have to break all this down real quick. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of how I break things down um, when I can't pull off the whole pallet and how I make stacks and, uh, you know what I'm saying, make it happen. So uh, just check this out real quick. I'll show you something. Okay, so after breaking that pallet down, which took me probably about, let's see, I think it was 24 pieces, so like two minutes and a half to break that down, um, you got another empty space, you know what I'm saying? So eventually, uh, I'll go ahead, <clears throat> once I get done moving this whole stop out, I'll end up picking up this pallet, um, or probably not because it's kind of blocking, but... Anyways, you got an open area in case you needed to stage some other stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, I still got room to maneuver through the truck. And like I said um, previously, 
I have my next stop always stacked up. So um, this allows me to just groove, you know what I'm saying? I can run this stuff in. This is the cooler, freezer, and then, uh, of course, ice cream freezer. And then I got the dry ready to go uh, from, you know, stacking from my previous stop. So um, just make it easier on yourself, you know what I'm saying? Now it's time to, you know, walk it in, and I'll show y'all that process. So stay tuned. Let's go. Okay, uh, just had an idea. Uh, I want to kind of give you guys, I guess, an up close experience uh, as I'm running my cooler. I already did freezer. Um, I have cooler and dry left. So uh, I'll just walk you through it. Um, in this location, I don't have any stairs. Um, so that's a plus. I do have <clears throat> a location. I do on what day is that? I'm gonna say probably my Sunday night going into Monday where I have stairs. It's not too bad. I just gotta go down the flight of stairs. Um, it's a pizza shop, so sometimes they have uh, big bags of flowers, uh, which could be pretty heavy. But anyways, you know, I get it done. But yeah, I just want to give y'all a walkthrough of what I'm doing right now. So basically, uh, you know, you're gonna scan it. I think I already got those two. And that one. Sorry if I'm breathing hard. I'm gonna be running this. Uh, not literally, but you know, kind of moving at my own pace. But, uh, just scan it. Um, we had a new system. I think they're gonna go away with it, but it was like a dual pallet, half the size of our regular pallets. And, uh, you could just scan the whole pallet, which was nice. But, you know, when shit starts running behind, they kind of revert back to what they know best, which is not best, but it is what it is. Anyways, uh, I'm wrong getting one stack already uh, for the cooler. Like I said earlier, I kind of finished the freezer already. Slide that joint up in there and repeat. Um, it's about 7.03 uh, in the morning. I started about 11 o'clock last night. So uh, no one's around. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys too, when you're uh, stacking your stacks, make sure you're putting all your heavy stuff at the bottom and uh, it's just flush, the stacks are flush. That way when you're driving, you don't have to worry about, uh, oops, stop two. There go the bacon I was missing for stop two. So I gotta take that back, mistakes happen. I'm still in the same area. But anyways, um, when you're making your stacks, just make them flush. That way when you're driving, you don't knock anything over. And uh, that's a headache within itself when you gotta, you know, stack, restack stuff, you know, it's time consuming. I mean, just imagine if uh, you took your time to stack something and Boom, you hop out the cab and you gotta do it again, so. Be mindful of your stacking. It'll help you get a long way. And as you see, I'm just casually, you know, walking. I'm not rushing. Uh, if you're if you're a incentive type guy, you're gonna be speed walk in trying to meet that incentive um, I'd rather take the time rather than you know hurt myself because that incentive is not all that the only way you're gonna make good money on your incentive is if uh, you have one of those routes to where it's pretty much a cake route um, it's mostly pallet drops you know what I'm saying? At the most, you'll probably have to drop off 
or will in about 60 to 80 cases um, or you just been doing it that route for so long you know how to get ahead of that clock and uh, it is also based off of scans as well too so keep that in mind Sometimes stuff come without a tag, but I know for that these pickles go here. I think I scanned all of those. So yeah, um, I do do a lot of thinking when I'm doing this job. <laughs> Uh, normally I don't talk to myself, but since I got the camera on me, I figure I could uh, talk and show you guys how this is done up front in death, you know? It's one thing for me to do a time lap, but I think it's pretty cool to show you guys, you know? This shit ain't bad, you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> to me, it's all about your attitude. Don't get me wrong, some days I come in here you know, with, into the job. And the most frustrating part is, I would say, number one, having a loader who just doesn't take time and loading things accordingly, and you gotta search through it. You know what I'm saying? That can be very frustrating. But if the truck is loaded right, it makes it easier for you to get through the day. Um, that's all the mindset to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, we get decent money here, so. That's all the mindset. And I like to keep that in mind, is to, you know, take my time, in a sense, and do it right. And uh, make that good money. As you see, I'm getting full here. So I'm just gonna start stacking stuff. And when you're stacking stuff, keep in mind, you don't wanna stack it to where it's gonna fall on somebody. Somebody get injured. That's the last thing you want. That didn't hurt, you know? Another thing about this job is too, guys, you know, it keeps you physically fit. It keeps that weight off of you. Especially uh, if you don't have the best diet or even exercise. Um, you sure, for sure, sure get your steps in. Uh, I work out after work, you know? I got a family and I gotta keep up with the chill with the children, the kids, I like to call them. So, uh, anyways, this, this job keeps you fit. So this is my last cooler item. Um, this stop took me about the time I get here. I want to say this stop probably took me about 38 minutes, 40 at the most. Um, once you know these stops, it doesn't take that long to do them. But just in time, the light just goes. So yeah, I got dry left. Um, that's gonna go quick. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys the up close and depth walkthrough. And uh, y'all stay tuned. If you guys got any questions, please type them, you know what I'm saying, down below in the comments. Um, I would love to interact with you guys and get your feedback. And uh, yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. And I'ma holla at you.